Well, I started to play the piano uh, with my mom as my teacher in the first grade uh, and did that for a few years and actually studied piano all the way through high school. And then at the end of third grade in my school district up in Minnesota, they uh, called everybody down in alphabetical order to see what instrument they wanted to play in the band. And I wanted to be a drummer. I wanted to hit something. And, uh, and they had too many already. So they said, well, we would like you to play the sousaphone. And uh, so I actually started on the sousaphone in fourth grade for band. With the great innovator uh, Kirk Joseph, the sousaphone player from the Dirty Dozen uh, Jazz Band, uh, uh, and then Nat McIntosh from Youngblood Jazz Band, and then some really other great artists, Matt Perrine, another wonderful New Orleans sousaphone player, uh, that have brought the sousaphone back into the bass section as a colorful member of the rhythm section, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and, and and one that has a, a very different uh, expressive quality uh, than a string bass. Uh, so uh, it's for me, it was uh, based on history, uh, a sort of a natural uh, place to go. Um, and that's when you, when you start in band, uh, you're, you're playing the bass part. So, uh, and then when you stumble into uh, a jazz band and you get to play uh, bass parts uh, on the tuba or on the sousaphone, um, that's really the beginning of your musical DNA. I've been playing the Jupiter E flat tuba now uh, since 2009. Uh, you can hear it in, in several settings with the All Star Brass Quintet, um, and that it's this instrument that I use in, as a solo instrument all over the world in concerts. Uh, and it's um, all of those instruments for all of the different variety of settings and usages uh, combine those. Uh, great things in terms of sound and the way it feels in your hands to use, the way it feels to drive it when it's time to play it in music. Uh, those are the things that, uh, that make Jupiter Tuba special. For me, it's been interesting to develop the new XO uh, brass lines and to then also, as I mentioned before, uh, I was a great admirer of the education products before. And so to be able to be involved now to make them better and uh, innovate in a way that allows for students at different sizes, at different levels, at different ages, uh, to be able to play our instruments and enjoy it and have it feel like it belongs to them and it's a part of them when it's time to make music. When you buy an instrument that has a great track record of uh, reliability and durability alongside uh, the ability to get it repaired easily, which happens, the instruments need repair, they need maintenance, uh, but when you have a great track record of reliability and ease of repair, um, your instrument is going to maintain its value. So I have had several students, for example, that have had the 1100 uh, uh, B flat Jupiter tuba and they've taken great care of it, had proper maintenance, and then when they sold it, they sold it for exactly the same price as what they paid for it. And so I think when you're shopping for an instrument, if you're at the right value point, uh, which Jupiter fits in every way, um, the instrument, if well taken care of and maintained, is going to retain its value. And that's important when you're shopping for an instrument. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.